on the drag and drop. Oh, it's got another one following it too. Oh my goodness. Look at that, she's trying to steal from her. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode. If you guys are new to the channel, we post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here. But what we're gonna be doing today is we have the Guggen Baits on deck. We have a whole range of Guggen Baits here and we're gonna try to do a Guggen Bait Slam. So about a week or two ago, I posted a video with the Mondo kit. You guys seem to like it a lot. It did very, very well. So if you guys haven't seen that, definitely go check that video out. But today, I figured we build off that. We have five different Guggen Baits here. We have the Dragon Drop, the Trench Hog, the Bandito Bug, the Kraken Craw, and last but not least, the Guggen Baits Rattling Ned Rig. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to catch at least one bass on each one of these lures, and it has to be a minimum of 14 inches. That's a Michigan legal keeper. So no dinks allowed. 14 inches is the smallest bass that's gonna count for us for this slam today, but stick around, stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy, but let's go get to fishing. First spot of the day, we are gonna start out with the Guggen Baits Bandito Bug. Try to get a flip and bite really quick and knock out our first bait of the day. We have five bass that we have to catch, all over 14 inches, and this is one of my big confidence baits. This and the Kraken Craw, I think, are gonna be the easiest, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe it's gonna be hard to get a flip and bite. I'm not really too sure, but we are gonna start by picking apart these pads right here. we go on the bandito bug first one of the day come on in the boat baby i think that's going to be a 14 yes sir just flipping these pads i just whiffed on a fish and i was pretty upset but you know two casts later we will take that right there let's get this fish on the bump board make sure that she is going to be part of our guggen bait slam right there let me just show you guys on here almost a 15 incher it's going to be hard to do this but i mean that one's easily when i have her mouth closed almost 15 inches on that bandito bug if you guys want to pick up this bump board this is going to be linked down below awesome little bump board made by ego but first bass of the slam right there on that bandito bug in blue baby that's what i'm talking about not a giant but it is a michigan keeper so we're going to get that fish back in the water and we're going to switch over to the cracking craw that's going to be bait number two for us okay get back in the water mama almost a 15 incher so now we're going to switch up to the cracking craw here let me just find the pack. We're also just gonna throw this on the Texas rig and we're gonna try to catch them pretty much just flipping the same pads. See if we can get fish number two really quick and then we're gonna move on to the trench hog, the net rig, and then finally the drag and drop. Actually, I don't know if that's gonna be the order, but cracking craw is gonna be number two, that is for sure. So all we're doing, just like the bandito bug, is we are rigging this up on a Texas rig. We have a 3 8 ounce bullet weight. We're just gonna flip this thing around some vegetation, but rigged up. Ready to go, nothing too fancy. Need to try to find another at least 14 incher on this crack and craw. Get bait number two of the day knocked out. There we go, on the crack and craw. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, it's a decent one. That is gonna be number two, just like that. Only been fishing the crack and craw for like three minutes. Yes, sir. All right, we'll put her on the bump board, but I'm almost positive that's gonna be over 14 inches. It's about the same size as that last one. Let's see what we got here. No, they're probably about 15 incher. Bust out that bump board. We're gonna dip it in the water too, guys. That's something you wanna do when it's hot outside like right now. Helps them with their slime coat, helps them not get burnt. Almost a 16 incher right there on the crack and craw. Gonna get that fish back in the water. We are chugging along. We've only been doing this challenge for literally like 10 minutes and we've already got two of the five baits knocked out. Luckily, both the fish that we caught were actually decent size, so they count for what we're doing. But we're gonna move on to the trench hog. Once again, we're doing the same thing. This is gonna be the last one that we can flip around these pads though, because then we have a net rig and a drop shot. But if they're biting in the pads, we are gonna capitalize on that. And uh, the trench hog is pretty much gonna be able to do the exact same thing as those first two baits. So why not just flip it around? I'm gonna be honest too, I've never actually thrown a trench hog. I've thrown pretty much every Guggen bait that is on the market, but this is one that I have not got my hands on yet. So I'm pretty excited to try this one out. I think that they just came out with the smaller size of this too, but we're throwing the full size. I think it's seven inches, I wanna say. And uh, gonna try to get fish number three in the boat. Hopefully we get another decent one. I don't wanna catch any shorts, but I think that when the Ned Rig and the Drop Shot come into play, we might get some of those smaller fish that aren't gonna count for our challenge, but. Trench hog, hopefully, since it's a bigger bait, is just gonna get another solid one for us in the boat really quick. Start flipping around, see what we can do, guys. Oh, here we go. On the trench hog, I saw that one bite it. The second that it dropped down, we didn't even move it. Oh my gosh, don't get wrapped up. Come on, baby. This feels like a good one. 
Oh, it's a decent one. Man, you were feeling like a Dagon five pounder there for a second, little lady. Oh my goodness. We have caught three cookie cutter fish though. That was probably, once again, like three or four casts with the trench hog and we just got the third fish in the boat. Boys, we are freaking waxing them today. The only problem is though, we just caught all of our fish on these Texas rig baits and the pads and now we have to catch them on a drop shot and a net rig, which I don't think is gonna work back in here. That's, I think, once again, stepping it up just a little bit, probably gonna be like a 16 incher, but we will toss her on that board. Oh yeah. Dude, we literally stepped up an inch every time. That one's like a 16 and a half right there on the trench hog. Nice, solid fish right there. Three baits down, two more to go, guys. We have not caught a short fish yet. All pretty solid ones. No giants yet though, either. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is fish number three. Gonna get her back in the water right there. Nice, solid 16, 16 and a quarter incher. Dropping her in. But now the thing we have to do is try to catch them on completely different baits, completely different tactics. I don't think that we're going to be able to throw a drop shot at all these pads. So stick around, stay tuned. Two more baits left and uh, we're going to have to switch things up here in just a second. Okay, boys and girls. So we just popped the drag and drop on a drop shot here. And I know that it's going to be really hard to fish around these pads. But since we know that there's a bunch of fish in here, we are going to mess around and try it for a little bit before we ditch this spot. Because we just caught three back to back to back. Definitely not going to be the ideal bait to get in and around all this vegetation, but since there are so many fish here, we might be able to catch one really quick on this. Just kind of popping it through the holes and stuff, but if we can't, we're gonna go to some areas that have a little bit less grass and try to drag this around. Cause this drop shot's just getting caught up like every single cast. Obviously, not made for doing what we're doing right now. I was just hoping that I'd be able to flip into one of these holes and have a dumb one eat it immediately. That was kind of my goal. But as you guys can see, yeah, not so much. There we go. Oh, it's a dink. See, finally got a non-keeper bass here. We need to have a 14 incher for it to count for the slam. I literally just watched that one eat it though. First little bite I've got in the drag and drop. We're basically just cooking around this lake, throwing around docks and bluegill beds, but it's gonna be hard for me to get a 14 incher on this one, I think. I think all those nice sized bass are sitting over in those pads and it's just impossible to fish this thing like that. Okay, well this is gonna be a challenge. This is gonna be definitely a bit of a challenge. The beginning of this slam started out on easy mode. We freaking literally caught three bass within like five, 10 minutes of fishing. And now we actually have to work for them. There we go. Oh, come on, stay pinned. Stay pinned on the drag and drop. That's a decent one right off that dock, boys. Come on. Got her. Come on. Oh my goodness. That's probably the biggest one yet. Oh, it's got another one following it too. It's got another like 15, 16 inch following it. Oh my goodness. Look at that. She's trying to steal it from her. There's another bass with this one. That is nuts. Do I have anything else to drop in there? I just want to land this one. There's another bass with this one though. That's crazy. Oh God, oh God, not in the trolling motor. Not in the trolling motor. This thing's fighting so hard, dude. Come on. I don't, see, like, I don't want the drag to be too loose, but this thing is just going. I don't want to snap it off either. I've never had such a not that large fish fight this hard. It's like not even a probably a three pounder. It's like a two, two and a half pounder. And it's fighting like it's a dang seven. Come on, Bessie. Come on, Bessie. You got to really play him on that spinning rod though. Come here, on the drag and drop, right like that. That is the biggest one by far. Nice like two and a half pounder right there. Not even gonna toss that one on the bump. Freaking sweet on that drop shot. Nice little stocky one. Had another one following it up too. That is fish number four out of five for our little Guggenbait slam right here. All we have left to catch one on is that rattling net rig. So let's get this fish in the water and try to get this thing done. I thought that was gonna be a lot harder. We honestly only fished that drop shot for about 10 minutes. So she's gonna go back in and we're gonna start skipping that net rig around the docks just like we just caught this one right here. Nice solid two, two and a half pounder right there though. Put up a crazy fight on that spinning rod too. See you later, mama. Okay, let's tie the net rig on. Okay, so coming into this challenge, I knew that this was gonna be the hardest part, the net rig, and I also thought that the drop shot was gonna be super hard, but luckily we got super lucky with that drag and drop. We caught one within like five, 10 minutes, and it was a decent one too, the biggest one so far. But unluckily, we have not got a single bite on this net rig, and we've been fishing it for like 15 minutes. So we're gonna take this little net rig, we're gonna go back over by those lily pads where I caught all those fish right in a row, 
and see if we can get one on this. I have no idea if it's gonna be possible. I think that it's gonna be same story as the drop shot, really hard to fish around those pads, but we do have that little one tenth ounce head on, so I think that we might be able to like kind of swim it along through the lily pads and get a dumb one to eat it really quick. So stick around, stay tuned. One bait left. We have to get one on the freaking rattling Ned rig. Let's go do it, boys. There we go. Oh, it popped off. 100% popped off. First bite on the rattling Ned rig though. My drag was a little bit too loose, honestly. Didn't feel like a very big one though. It might not even have been a 14 incher. There we go, come on. Be a 14 incher, be a 14 incher. You gotta get him in the boat. It's gonna be a really close one, boys. I think it's gonna be a 14 though. We gotta land him on the Ned, come on. On the Ned, on the Guggenbaits rattling Ned. That might be the slam right there. It's a short and stocky one. She's gonna be very close. Hold on, we might have just done something there. Just flipping a net. Has anyone ever flipped a Ned rig around pads? Like, what the heck? I think that's gonna be it though. Hold on. Oh yeah, easy money. 14 and a half inch on the board right there. On the Ego bump board, we have got the freaking Guggen bait slam knocked out. All five baits, all Keeper Michigan largemouth, over 14 inches. We freaking did it, boys. We had two baits that were not even good for this lake. Like, you don't want to be fishing drop shots and net rigs around all this heavy vegetation, and we still got it done. The drop shot even caught the biggest one of the day. All right, we're gonna get that fish back in the water, and we are gonna wrap this up, boys and girls. Okay, so that is gonna be a wrap on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Guggen Bait Slam as much as I enjoyed making it. If you guys did like the video, please drop a thumbs up. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you're not already subscribed, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. But had a great time out here. Thought that we were gonna have some major problems with those finesse baits because all this lake is is heavy vegetation and fishing a Ned Rig in heavy vegetation is just not the move. But we somehow managed to pitch and flip that thing around some pads and catch that last minute fish. It was a wild day. It was a fun day out here guys we caught some solid fish no giants but all like 14 and a half to 17 inches so great great time in the water i really do hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and i will catch you guys in the next one